The LAV UP, UP for Upgraded, or LAV 6.0 was developed by General Dynamics Land Systems. It is an upgraded version of the Canadian LAV-3 Kodiak Armoured Personnel Carrier. Upgrades are based on the lessons learned by the Canadian Army during combat operations. In 2011 the company was awarded a contract to upgrade 550 Canadian Army LAV-3 vehicles. In 2012 the deal was modified to provide additional 66 reconnaissance vehicles to replace Canadian Coyote reconnaissance vehicles. It seems that the first upgraded LAV 6.0 vehicle was delivered to the Canadian Army in 2015. It was planned that all of these 616 Canadian vehicles will be delivered until 2017. These upgraded vehicles will form the backbone of the Canadian Armoured Vehicle Fleet. It is planned that these vehicles will remain operational until 2035. The LAV 6.0 and its modified versions are being proposed for export customers. The upgraded LAV 6.0 weights significantly more than the original LAV-3. A fully upgraded vehicle with add-on armor kit weights just over 28T of protection has been improved, though many of the core design elements remain the same. The most notable difference of the upgraded LAV 6.0 is a double V-shaped hull. It was added for improved protection against landmines and improvised explosive devices. Crew members and passengers are seated on energy-absorbing seats. Vehicle retains a ceramic add-on armor kit of the original LAV-3. It looks like with this kit maximum level of all-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Some sources claim that front arc can withstand hits from 30mm cannons. Cage armor can be installed for protection against anti-tank rockets. Vehicle is fitted with automatic fire suppression and NBC protection systems. Currently the LAV 6.0 is one of the most protected armored personnel carrier in the world. The baseline Canadian Army vehicle has a two-man turret, armed with an M242 Bushmaster 25mm chain gun. It fires standard NATO 25mm ammunition. This weapon has an effective range of 2.4 kilometers. Both gunner and vehicle commander can fire the gun. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Another 5.56mm machine gun is located on top of the roof. Other weapons can be also fitted. Saudi Arabia ordered the LAV 6.0 armored personnel carriers armed with 20 and 30mm cannons. The upgraded Canadian vehicles have improved fire control system. It has an integrated target detection, recognition, and identification system. It automatically corrects for target range and crossing speed. Turret sites have also been upgraded. The new thermal site and intensification site have extended ranges. So overall surveillance capability of the vehicle improved. The gunner can spot a man at a range of 1.2 kilometers. Furthermore the LAV 6.0 has got a new battlefield management system. This armored vehicle is operated by a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver. It accommodates six to seven dismounts. Troops enter and leave the vehicle through the rear ramp with integral doors. Also there are roof hatches for firing or emergency exit. The upgraded LAV 6.0 is fitted with a more powerful engine. The new Caterpillar engine develops 450 horsepower, opposed to 350 horsepower in the original LAV-3. Upgrades were made to drivetrain and suspension to cope with increased engine power, as well as increased overall weight. Despite increased weight the upgraded LAV 6.0 can match mobility of the original LAV-3 Kodiak. The LAV 6.0 is not amphibious. Armored personnel carrier is a baseline vehicle in this family of armored vehicles. It is fitted with a 25mm cannon. This version is used by the Canadian Army. Command Post Vehicle. It has a raised roof over the rear compartment. This version is fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun. This version is used by the Canadian Army. Engineer Vehicle. Equipped with a dozer blade, hydraulic crane, and other engineering and recovery equipment. This version is used by the Canadian Army. Artillery Forward Observation Vehicle. This version is used by the Canadian Army. 
Reconnaissance Vehicle In 2012 Canadian Army ordered a total of 66 of these vehicles to replace their Coyote reconnaissance vehicles. Fire Support Vehicle, fitted with a Cockerill CTCV 105 HP turret, armed with a 105mm gun. The gun can also launch Valeric 105 anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary projectiles. These missiles have an effective range of up to 5 km and can penetrate up to 550 mm of armor. This fire support vehicle was ordered by the Saudi Arabia. LAV-700 is an improved and modified version of the LAV-6.0. It has a different hull and is fitted with a more powerful engine. This vehicle retains its driveline and suspension system. Saudi Arabia ordered a total of 900 of these armored vehicles in various versions.